what's up everybody? Hola. Today we are playing Fallout New Vegas. In the years before the Great War, Big Mountain had been the home to the brightest minds of the 21st century. Scientists of vision were drawn to the facility to tackle the greatest technological challenges of the era. They sought to create a new world, fueled by technology for the benefit of all mankind. Sonic emitters, space-age alloys, DNA hybridization, force field particle research, Autodoc advances in cranial, cardiac, and trauma surgery. The hopes and dreams of a century became realities in the electronic forges of Big Mountain. The nucleus of this research was the Dome, a huge stone facility that held the labs of every science known to man. It was a think tank where no problem could not be solved, where no question could not be answered. The Great War brought a new energy to Big Mountain and its scientists. Although sheltered from the front lines, the scientists waged their own war, fighting their battles at the atomic level. Equations and calculations marched endlessly across chalkboards and computer terminals toward one solution, winning the war. For years, the minds and computers of Big Mountain were a blaze of trajectories, weapon schematics, and nuclear theories. The problems began to outpace the solutions, first geometrically, then exponentially. As the war escalated, so did the questions. On the night of October 23rd, 2077, the scientists received an answer that put all their questions to rest. In the aftermath, Big Mountain's silent experiments went to sleep, their creators slowly dying in the new world that had been left behind. And the great stone in the middle of the Big Empty lay untouched, filled with countless technological wonders. Wonders that, in the end, had been answers to the wrong question. All right. Strange. You feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Okay. Welcome to the Big Empty. Here we are. Oh. Oh, baby. Can I put my power armor back on? Thank you. Hopefully, it's a bit otherwise. Sink. Classic, classic. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I decided to do Old World Blues first. I figured it'd be a good place to start. Disabled or damaged, gotcha. This is the think tank, I think. A strange feeling of pacifism comes over you, and you find you cannot draw your weapon for some reason. Pacification field kick in? Alright, shh. Nobody move. I'll handle this. Be warned, intruder! You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain! The collective geniuses of... We! Why, Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? I love 
eight. Oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely story. O couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. You always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last time. Now... Now... Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Am I gonna tell him? Um... Are you the ones who performed the surgery on me? Did... Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals. Translate. It's a lobotomite! Here, in the dome! Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse! Now we've got lobotomites! Dalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything! Not to cut your speech off, is there someone coming in on the big monitor? Dr. Klein! A transmission from the Forbidden Zone! Coming right at us! It can only be... If it isn't my old colleague, the mighty looks. think tank of Big Mountain. Big fools! Oh. It is I, Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone. A zone that is, yes, forbidden to you! Yes. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine! Even the technology sealed in the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. <laughs> Uh, goodbye. I love how he's Dr. Farnsworth. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. What are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those robot scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever... Return! Oh, besides the one. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us. They are out of our reach. And Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. Oh, the voice speaks in code. What? Ask the lobotomite for help? Abe, hey, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. Yes, but it's still aware of the Why would they take out my brain if they did not have put back? Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, <laughs> it might be favorably disposed to us. You guys know I can hear you, right? We removed your brain. Yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, it is called yet so Neanderthal. flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The coils of Nikola Tesla. Your brain is in a place where advanced technologies. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction and shock from bodily damage. <laughs> Brainless perk. Quote. That's so funny. Yeah, Abe, no need to brag. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the... what? The, um... Uh... The Tesla coils! In its head! This is fortunate in many respects. If your brain was anywhere in the dome, why, you could access your aggression centers. 
Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no-no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds me of my days in American High. And Richie Marcus. <laughs> That doesn't explain the uh, laser sutures on my chest and my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. Although in truth, the Autodoc had done most of the work already. Quite industrious, almost cut into all my investigations. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it, other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. <laughs> Heartless. The scars in your chest seem to confirm that the think tank is saying you cannot be poisoned, and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level. Robots are now confused by you and 50% less likely to score a critical hit. Oh, wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. Oh, Jesus. Due to complications with your procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and your strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. Spine. Totally overrated, that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You took out my brain, heart, and spine. That auto-dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest of the talking scrap metal in the attic. After that, the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius! Flush! That is the sound of flushing! By the Fisher of Rolando, enough of this biological surgery talk! Lobotomite, listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This is not good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him, somehow, with science. Where's you scoop out my brain and now you want me to save you? That is correct, yes. I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. How the hell am I even talking to you right now? We have no idea! This line of questioning isn't important to us right now! Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! We need these technologies. You need to get them. You must get them. You are equipped to retrieve the technologies with your primitive form. We are not. It's kind of embarrassing. You have hands, and uh, a heartbeat, sort of, and eyes, mostly the hands. There's door handles and lockers and... Enough! We need your help. Will you help us? Um, I'm listening. Let's hear it. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, uh, transmit the radio map waves to... Settle down, Eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right? Eight's transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They, um... They, well, move sometimes, or get buried, or blow up. Jesus. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, 
Simply reaching them will auto-transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good. For us. Nonsense! This place is no more dangerous than a nuclear detonation site. Our technology is no more lethal than an overcharged Tesla cannon. Oh, incredibly. The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array, used to focus coherent thought at excessively high frequencies. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen, or could ever see. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun, able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. It also gives a great bio gel massage. Okay. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate if you are focused, your time investment will be minimal uh, by our standards. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world gestures lightly. Trust me, I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. Our intentions exactly. The important thing is you rush quickly through this task so as not to waste our time. Do not get curious, or you will end up like the cat of Schrödinger. We feared you would be tempted to explore Big Mountain Crater and examine the many amazing non-mandatory research labs that lie off your designated path. The many such optional explorations are discouraged. Work hurriedly as if you have blinders on, and leave curiosities and items of interest alone. So many sciences and developments. Pass them by. Let impatience and the desire to simply finish, to end it all quickly and carelessly, guide you. Right you are, Ace. In our test results, we'll make a note about how quickly you ran our maze. Uh, an experience. Nobel. Challenge. Jesus. After all, there will be plenty of time afterward to partake of the experiments once our bidding is done. <sighs> ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. Much slower than our advanced hovering robotical frames. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, yeah, directly. Jesus. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to the blinking posts, and the proximity warning shall be your warning. You are too close. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Click, click, click. Possible memory loss will occur, along with long-term nerve degradation. It is tied to not having a brain attached to your nervous system. Mm. But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Such degradation would take many lifespans to become evident, and all biology dies. Such tiny inconveniences are less than the greater convenience and conveyance. You see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will be returned to the sink, seemingly instantaneously, by your deadened perceptions. Mm, great, I don't want to hear any more about that. Oh, uh, Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the sonic emitter thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your act together. You're making us look like a collection of round earthers. Such a You're always yelling. My receptors can't take it anymore. And neither can my feelings. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my voice module. 
You have the gun on red. All right. For the love of, please stop fighting. It is truly the end of all intelligence when a lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. So, if we have the sound wave, sonic projecto thing gun, then what in Heisenberg's name do we need from X8? Anyone? I believe we need a new frequency embedded into the gun. It was designed to broadcast many sounds once charged. We just don't know the frequency. And it is lost in X8, just as X8 is forever lost to us. The sadness of my high school days, the sadness of my youth, my youth lost. Oh, really, Boros? All you did in high school was call me Fink Tattletail and all the kids you hated, you little teacher's pet brown hound. Give the lobotomite the emitter. Does it have an audio effect frequency loaded? Oh, I don't think so. Wait. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. Jesus. Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Oh, I don't think so. I'll do it if you two are going to be ashamed of your own technological needs. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. <laughs> All right. All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I have thoroughly removed all Robco Terminate codes view from the device. Jesus Christ. It is clean, shiny, and ready for your hands. Looks like an ambient projectile. Got anything that spits lead? What did it say? Spit lead? What, like pencils? Oh, I think it wants a combustion pistol. A gun? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun! Guns kill! Leave big open holes in you that are like sores, but worse! Dr. Eight is correct. We already have given the teddy bear a lethal sonic death ray, filled with his sonic ejaculate and sterilized by my soft wing. Giving the teddy bear a gun would be the equivalent of following a glass of hemlock with an Abraxo chaser. Delicious and redundantly deadly. If you're going to bring the Socratic method into it, fine. Give the Lobato bear a combustion gun. Lobato bear. Burrows, don't you have something like that? Are you mad? We can't give it a gun. Guns? Wait, I said that already. Yes, I have the Cyberdog gun. With the little floppy metal ears and the curious nose sensor. Here. Fine. Done. That gun makes me uncomfortable anyway. Always worried it's going to hump my chassis. Anything else, lobotomite? Um... Can I go? Fine. So, yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. <laughs> I'll head out then and be back with these... things. Well... Good. What are the token words spoken in this case? Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Wait, is it leaving? But, uh, Dr. Klein, the lobotomite will need rest. This is the longest talking Things sequence like that. ever. I volunteer my chambers so it might be stared at. My monitor radar slowly scanning its form to collect sensitive data. No! That would put it too close to us! It could press buttons, turn lights on and off, and worse, let other lobotomites in! We could give it Mobius's old room. That's where its brain got scooped out anyway. And plus, some of its parts are already there. Might be more comforting for it to hang out with its spine and heart. Home is where the heart is, after all. <laughs> See what I did there? Wet literal.
I suppose. We'll have to move that couch out of there. Been putting that off too long. God, they talk so much. Eight says, let the lobotomy take the Sync Central Intelligence personality chip and reinstall it. That stuffy Mobius program Butler can walk the lobotomite, feed it, barter with it for us. It would also prevent it from going to Higgs Village and taking up residence there with my teddy bears. And it would be nice to have it so close. Your logic combined with my desire to keep the think tank lobotomite free has swayed me. Here, I present the Sync Central Intelligence. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. I cannot dispute your logic. Do we have objects to activate the chip's exchange routines? What, like stuff? Things? Yes, things. I don't know. Might be some old Nuka-Cola or Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle caps lying around. It's not currency per se. Still might be enough to trade the thing's trade routines. Mobius put that test line for caps in the code as a debug command, I think. I don't believe that was Mobius's reason. His wild speculation concerning post-Holocaust economic systems was quite extensive, and of high decibel. Enough! Surrender these so-called bottle caps, Nuka and Sunset alike. In their role as things, they will serve as adequate test subjects. All right, all right, here, cap away. Hope that stupid ship chokes on them. All right. Yes, you may need to wiggle it in a bit, but don't force it. We can't recode them if you break it. There is no more we can do to aid you, and our patience levels are depleted. Don't now mind. go. Rest in the sink if you must, but leave us to our research. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel's starting to crampagulate. Of course! Go man your science stations! Go! I am surrounded by children. God, that was the longest interaction ever. They just talked for a billion years. Um, hmm. Wow, okay. So that was a lot of talking. I almost restarted the episode because I actually did go away for a second. Wow, I have a lot of crap. Um, I need to drop some stuff really bad. I guess I'll just go walk really stoically out of the room. You can talk to all of them too. But, ugh. I'm just gonna dump some of my crap like in a locker or something. But yeah, welcome to Old World Blues. We're gonna give it a shot. I don't actually have. Oh. I don't have nearly as much ammo as I thought I did, which is sort of upsetting. Oh. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. Hey there, guy. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? What services do you provide? In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods sir might require may be purchased through my shopkeeper. I like how I just have Jarvis Whence here. tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Very good, sir. Should, sir, be in the market for any... Not a lot of stuff. But a little bit of everything. We do have some bullets. Um, the best thing to get, honestly, though, in this... 
is which is not here yet, but what we're going to use for this this DLC because it's super super good against the um the rad scorpions is um it's like a like a fire axe. Sorry I'm like I'm explaining this horrendously, but my brain is not working at the moment. Camera film. I love it. I love that it has a little 400. I'd like to imagine it's Porsche 400. I don't need 357 actually. Oh, this uses 357? Does it really? I want to kind of use the dog gun just because I'm curious. Let me put my crap down. Yeah, can I just like dump stuff in here? I hope it doesn't go away if I do this, but... Um... Yeah, like that, this gun is so heavy. Maria, Spike Knuckles, Trail Carbine, that's right. That in there, put that in there. Like all of this, I guess. Cool. God, I'm so loaded with much garbage. Oh, no wonder I've been so heavy. I'm just carrying around a bunch of crap. Ramen stick, I don't need that. I have enough loose space now where I could put this. Wow, that actually saves a lot of room. But I want to. I kind of want to use the cyber dog gun because it's kind of funny. So let's give it a shot. Look at him. Look at his little head. Oh, it's got a little brain in it. Might I be of service? I want something repaired real quick. Very good, sir. That's actually not that expensive. I could repair all of it. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask it a question. Um, are you some kind of artificial intelligence? Regrettably not, sir. All modules in this habitat are synthetic personalities atop a mundane operating system. There is no intelligence here, sir. You mean there are other personality modules here? Indeed, sir. Though if sir's aim is to activate them, I lament to inform, sir, that most have been offline for some years. Okay. If so were to ask my opinion, I should venture that Sir is better off without them. However, if Sir is determined to inflict upon Sir's self their dubious services, Sir might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. So I can access their functions without loading the personality? Tragically, the core operating systems are also located on the personality tapes. Why was that why was Once Mobius so weird? Installed, Sir may request I switch their dialectic interfaces off. And I shall oblige with great delectation. However, Sir will still be required to locate and install a backup holotape to access their functionality. Why are there so many personality modules? As I am given to understand, Sir, this facility was once the property of a Dr. Mobius. He crafted the personality modules as part of a collection of experiments on the subject of machine-human interface. As to the reason for the unusual choices of devices to receive the modules, I cannot say. Hmm. Indu Indubitably. Yeah, I don't actually think I'm going to use this guy. He's a, uh... Sorry, bud. That kind of bums me out. But you're really, really heavy. Let's stick with my battle rifle for now. What is that? Muggy? Really? Mad scientist scrubs, that's kind of funny. They're so, like, I'm talking an ungodly amount. Oh, I should put the stuff in there. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's a trunk of some kind. Here's your spine without a brainstem to snap it onto. I hear it floats. Your brain doesn't feel, or your back doesn't feel any different from the spine's removal. If anything, whatever was placed in there makes you feel stronger. And this is where our brain would go. This is your heart. Apparently cranial surgery, surgery complications required its removal, and until your brain is returned, your heart can't be trusted to keep beating in your body. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, however. 
doesn't really look like a heart. It has no valves on it. Did she take the valves off too? Yeah, this is like your little room. And then you can grow like plants in here, I think. The auto doc also doesn't have a personality, but you can get a haircut with the auto doc. So. All right. We are now outside the think tank. This is the big wide world of <laughs> Big Mountain. As you know, I had to take a picture of that. Also, yeah, it plays. I didn't doubt it. These guys are going to be tough. We'll see how difficult this is going to be. Oh dear. Who's that? Hello? Oh yeah, there's like lobotomites just chilling around. Oh, he's got one. Bye, sir. Proton axe. This thing is astounding. The lobotomite? Uh, <laughs> the, the goggles always tickles me. Oh, it lowers your intelligence. Interesting. This proton axe, though? is clutch. Super, super useful for dealing with these scorpions because they have a ballistic resistance. So keep that in mind if you decide to play this DLC. There's a ton of places to go. It's a really condensed like pocket of content. Yeah, you just get a ton of um, jazz music in the background, like the whole time. It's always playing. Is this something? Now, they tried to... Hold on, I have to fix my pants for some reason. I'm standing. Um, they try to tell you not to do any of these. I'm going to tell you the opposite, because all of the cool stuff is in the side content, really. One second. Sorry. Had to do something really fast. Whoa. This reminds me, honestly, I think it is literally just the room. Like a model of the room you go to in um, Fallout 3. Where you murder all those people. If you've ever played Fallout 3. It looks a lot like that. Zero. It is literally the same place. And yeah, a stealth boy. Crap. Got metal. Little cap. A lot of oh audio sample giant tarantula. What was that? The holotape, it can be used to modify the sonic emitter weapon at the sink's jukebox. Oh, Unfortunately, since I don't use um, energy weapons, it's going to be... This this DLC is going to be a little harder for me. This was definitely made for energy weapon users. But we can make do. You can make do with guns. Oh. The guy who made the... Um, Liberty Prime. I guess we're just going to explore these houses real quick and see what we can find. Really chill so far. The intro, I forgot how long it was. I haven't done this DLC in forever. Speak skill? Or speech skill books? Oh, okay. Oh, it's kind of weird in here. good touch would be like if they move down the hallway. I always love it when games do stuff like that. This is double zero, right? Oh, 
Okay, we went in there. We'll go. We'll go clock counterclockwise. One on one, huh? Imagine just having a bar and like a tap in your living room. What did it say this place was called? I forgot already. Mintats. Book shoot. I think that's Mobius, like, watching you. Dr. Klein's glove. Pre-war bonnet. Dr. Klein's scrubs. A vacuum cleaner. Is, is his other stuff in here? Was this his house? Just one glove. Anything else? I do see a like androgynous photo. Like a sexless person. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I grabbed the Wonder Glue. That's a Fallout 4 habit. Considering how useful Wonder Glue is for um, adhesive, I always end up grabbing it. Oh. A lot of, a lot of Mentats. Which sort of implies that, um... It, like, intelligence is super important here. Because otherwise, why would there be all these Mentats just chilling around? Because that's what they're for. Birds. Door to the basement. Oh, I don't have a skill to get down there. Oh, a little dino medicine skill book. So these are all just... Oh, the basement key. Uh-oh. What? I mean, in a normal, like in another game, you would probably be able to crawl through there. That's unsettling. Whose whose house is this? Well, you can see some pretty messed up stuff must have happened in here. It's odd that all these plants are able to survive because um, they've done experiments. Plants don't do well if there's no wind, so unless there's like an artificial wind in here. Any project jukebox? What is that? The personality profile for the jukebox. Book shoot. A lot of radios. one we need to find is the auto dock, but I think you find that one intentionally. Like, I think it just pops up. Audio sample opera singer. Whoever lived here really liked audio. That's basically what they're saying. Did we come in here? I feel like we did. There's a lot of books. Very neat and tidy. I think we did go in here. Looks familiar. Yeah, we did. Okay. Interesting. Now, I'm not looking at guides for any of this or anything, so if I miss something, we're going to live with it. Or you can tell me about it, but by the time you probably see these, 
I'll probably be pretty close. Ooh, wow. I'll probably be pretty close to being either done with it or having regret my choice of even coming in the first place. But so far, we're doing all right, so I don't think that that's going to happen. Having the high ground is useful, of course. I don't see anything too, too crazy right now. What's that? Is that one of the pylons? I'm afraid my programming requires that I try to get Oh. Do not. What are these? They all shoot like brain stuff. Medical facility, this might be where the auto dock is. That symbol is going to be important for later. Keep that in mind. Let me try this proton axe, actually. I'm curious. Because that's bonus damage against. so slow. Please stop burning me. Works pretty well. Melee's definitely not as good. Auto dock upgrade cosmetic enhancements. Cool. That means we can now change our face too. I think as long as we have heals, we should be fine. I think Project Auto Dock, yep, that's the one we want. Super, super useful. I thought it was gonna want me to click that one. This Proton Axe is gonna definitely be a well-used item. Sierra Madre test case. I heard one of the executives mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the auto dock and the innovation toxins. So, the Sierra Madre is part of the quest Dead Money. And you get to meet uh, Father Elijah that Veronica talked about earlier. So, a lot of things happen in that DLC. It's also incredibly hard, notoriously probably one of the hardest um, DLCs in Fallout. I'm just looking around to see if we miss anything. Don't want to walk out of here without all this stuff we can grab. I love how that doctor has a PhD. The, the robot. Implant C13. How do I get in there? Is it this terminal up here, maybe? You think? Maybe? Maybe that terminal? We could try. I didn't see an option, but I only clicked in. I clicked through it really fast, so. The condition of this axe isn't very good. Let's just 
talking about research of some sort. So how do we get in here? Unless you can't, which is fine. Because I think we got what we needed to um, out of this room. Oh, whatever. Yeah, we don't have to go up here, but we're going to. For sure. I hope I didn't leave my giant robo-scorpion on. That thing eats power like no tomorrow. Oh, I feel bad. Am I still in danger? There's 35 locations in this DLC. That's actually incredibly impressive. A lot of plasma mines. Um, I think there's a building that you can go into over here. Some, um, indiscriminate goop. So I don't need the, the metal armor because obviously I'm wearing power armor right now. Which I, is this where Mobius lives? Is that what I'm? Is that what this is? I'm like trying to remember what things are, but it's been so long since I've done this DLC. Also, this uh, symbol—you'll see it a lot. DNA preservation. Oh no, is that a Night Stalker? Those things are tough. Please. Sir, I have a family. Oh my god. I think just about ended my entire existence. Um. No, 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 no. A lot of them in here. Camera. Her dead people in rooms. Microfusion cell. Dang, not having... I need to get that scrounger perk, I think. I think that would help me out. Okay. DNA preservation of what? Right in its face. Come on. Right in its stupid head. There you go, baby. Oh, another proton axe. Oh, that's a throwing axe. I think there's like a perk that you can do something with Night Stalker blood if you have survival. Night Stalker's reasons. What is that? Um, thanks for the one bullet. That was a really sick. So was there no other purpose in here besides that they experimented on Night Stalkers? Oh no, there's more doors. Mm, of course there is. Ah, 
I don't like that that one has a name. Dang. Reload! What do the squeezins do? Oh, you can heal yourself with it. I was probably just gonna sell it. Night Stalker Tail, Empty Syringe, oh. Implant B3. I'll show you uh, what those do here in like a second. I don't want you guys to like think I'm not gonna go back. I just... I, d I really didn't come here with any ammo. I'm an idiot. Like, I did not come prepared for this DLC. Okay. Like, normally the game would give you more ammo than that, but apparently because of that mod. It just gives you like two. But we finished this one. Wasn't too bad. Night Stalkers are tough though. Like they hit really hard. As useless as the bottle of the same name. Well, except as an example of an object that uselessly tries to fulfill its purpose. What was the name of that thing? It was like Shadis. But as you can see, you know, just by the other lobotomites, you're not the first person who's ever come here and who has been experimented on. It's happened a lot. Also, apparently my hand is having a time. Did you notice this? Oh, I love how I just miss. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god. So just save out here. I, I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna die a lot because that dude has no ammo, but hopefully we can kind of figure it out. If I remember right. say, um, power armor has pretty high resistance to chem, like, uh, whatever you want to call it. Radiation? Jesus. I don't know why the words aren't here for me today. Yeah, I don't know how you lift this barrier, but that's literally one of the suits from Dead Money. Like, on the dot. Let me heal some of my radiation. I it really didn't do a lot. Always under caution. It's kind of hard when every DLC creature in this game wants to kill you. Epsonade DNA splicing lab? Oh, I'm sure. Wow. 
Wow. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Whew. Whew. Get out of here, nerd. Alright, shoot its wings. Studying the abominations created at Big Mountain has granted you a damage bonus against Cazadors. Really? I could probably blow it up with this. Really? <laughs> Kill more Cazadors at Big Mountain. Oh, this makes me nervous. It's like Russian roulette. Oh, wow. I'm glad he's stuck for some reason, because he would already killed me. Further study of the abominations created at Big Mountain has granted you an additional damage bonus against Cazadors, which is actually super nice. Implant M5. Scientist glove? What is that? Oh, is this like a melee weapon? Interesting. Atomic balance, try something. One energy cell. Thanks, game. Real swell guy, you know that. Man. Um, which is the way that I have? I don't think I've gone this way yet. I don't hear anything. Yeah, if you use energy weapons in this mod, or not this mod, this DLC, you're going to be set because there's a ton of ammo everywhere. But for people like me, who's a dumb dumb and I specialized in, you know, guns, it's going to be, it's going to be a time. Is that where he lives? Yeah, it's red. Yeah, it is where he lives. I love that. Actually, I think that's hilarious. Excuse me, sir. Right. Oh, there's another one of you. Juratron. Oh, God. Dang! Kill even more Cazadors in Big Mountain. Why are there never stim packs in those? Ever. Oh god.
Can you not come up here? I don't want a stupid glove, I want to shoot people. Why does their face look like that? To stand there, you idiot. Wow. Oh, my God. I think that this axe negates some of their um, like abilities for a second. Like I don't think they can fire. Maybe is what it is. Melee seems like it might be hard with this sort of like mod setup because I feel like you'd get annihilated. I really need to impact. bunch of batteries. Oh my god. Dude, you're really just gonna launch some fucking... Yikes. Um... Huh. What do I do? Close. Got it. Ooh. Muggy upgrade. Why is Muggy? Why was that muggy? Proton throwing axes. exactly sure how we're going to survive this DLC. Not easily, I'll tell you that. I see a guy over there with a plasma, or a proton axe. Dr. Mobius, surrender yourself. You cannot win despite the fact that the odds are in your favor. Despite the fact that the odds are... Sir! Well, I have no more super stim packs. And I used a ton of them. I'm going to use this elf boy. Let them just go on out. No. 
bro. I'm gonna reload. Wait. Oh man. Dang it. Wouldn't let me change it. Oh! Nailed me. It's hard to get up close to those guys because he's just going to shoot a bunch of rockets at me. Oh, I thought I had him. Wow. Wow. Just keep save scumming like a All right, we got him. Got him. Got him. We did it. We survived somehow. But for how long? I don't know. I like how it didn't auto save at all when I did that. If I can fast travel. Can't. Let me go back to the balcony, Jesus. Might I be of service? I'd like to buy some Very things. Good, sir. And might I venture to opine that one bullet. Dude, this is unbearable. There's no way I'm gonna be able to survive this. Might I be of service, sir? Day, citizen. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Oh. Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again, clean and white, and sedition free. Clean and white. Blank books, huh? Do you blank? You make blank books? What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing <laughs> outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of Although well, he has teeth. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Can you do anything besides that? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I could also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline. Apology, citizen. It seems traitors have They seem like they ought, like they have a personality if for sure. Find a backup copy of the module. I will happily eradicate your ability to create <laughs> seditious literature. Oh. Uh, Stay loyal, citizen. Wow. Um. How do I make forty-four? I need large pistol. Cause I have. Oh, I need lead. Oh, oops. Yeah, let's break down 10 millimeter, break down 20 gauge, break down 5.56, five, break down 9 millimeter, break down 5 millimeter. And we'll make just a ton of, as much 44 as I can make. Not a lot, but something. 
What's the... Uh, how about that? I love that the doctor is just an old jaded dude. Well, alright, come here, let's have a look at you. Well, he ain't the fittest horse that ever ran a race, but he don't... Did you perform a psychiatric evaluation on me? Concerned about the state of your mind, are you? Well, such things ain't my specialty, but I'm happy to tender my opinion as to your mental health. I should make you aware that the benefits of such a procedure are exclusive. On second thought, not well, now. I'll be right you know what that makes? You require some additional services? I'd like to engage in your services. Rightly so, I should think. Ca get a haircut. Oh man. It's all implants. Increase speed while crouched. Interesting. What body parts? Cosmetic surgery? Oh. Yeah? You require some addition. What else you got? Um, basic well physical physical exam? Oh, you just heal me? Yeah. Look at that. What else we got? We gotta get Cuppy out here. The jukebox, too. Dig that sweet music, Dig baby. Sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back on line. Do you play music? Mm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Moore ripped out my music drives. Why is he an old <laughs> blues singer? Processors. Guess you could say, I there you go. Got the blues. Even if I can't play them no more. I'll talk to you later. Get you later, Gator. Blind Diode Jefferson. I don't have the toaster. I don't have that. Safe. Bottle caps. I think all that useful for me. Muggy. What do you mean? What was this? Oh. Hmm. I see. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Might I be of service? I have all this money and nothing to spend it on. Do we have any like large quantity of ammo at all? Doesn't look like he does. A shovel. Might I be of service? Can you repair something for me? I want. Why is that so expensive? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh. Are they the same thing? Whoa, for real? That looks absolutely tight. Might I be of service? Yeah. Can you repair this thing on my head? Holy crap! It costs a thousand caps! So this gives a bonus to endurance, that gives a bonus to- are they the same thing? It's just like a halo. Is it just a cosmetic one if you want? Interesting. I forgot about this. This, this lets you heal yourself. Sorry, I keep clicking this. I forgot all about this. I'm not gonna ask him this again. I just need him to fix this now on my head. Am 
Might as well fix that. Oh yeah, can you fix this proton axe too? Dick. All right. <laughs> well, I think this is as good a spot to stop as any. So, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, <laughs> Old World Blues so far. We're going to be here for quite a few episodes, so I'll probably end up far richer and way more powerful after we leave, but that's kind of, kind of the point. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Olaf, and this has been Fallout New Vegas.